Okay, thank you very much. I hope you have a good lunch. Uh, well, first I want to to thanks for the finding the limits of the limbs uh, research group. They invited me here, and then uh, we are we we go to to explain about uh, cases to the research concretely uh, about the economy of the Roman wine in uh, an area determinate. Um, the presentation is is larger, but uh, I hope uh, we can develop it in a few minutes. I think so, and uh, it's very visual. You you can you can see it because uh, there is very visual. Uh, let's start. Well, we are speaking about wine and grapes basically. I want to to start with uh, this side, no. In Vino Veritas, about uh, Alcaleos of Mitilene, that resumes uh, a little bit the the wine, the Roman wine, and the classical Roman wine world. Uh, first, uh, we make uh, preliminary considerations about uh, the, the the different private studies, the study of the ancient viticulture and the archaeology of wine in Roman period, have multiple fields of speci specialization with enormous possibility for research. The more parts of studies only use the ancient writing sources uh, and the uh, archaeological data as a complementary support uh, to, um, to find the localization of a settlement or for uh, to confirm the existence of a winemaking process or pottery craft activities in a given territory. Every society uh, must organize their production practice uh, for resolve these economical problems, but there are some th theoretical aspects that we cannot forget if we want to know in deep the wine productive trade chain. This research pro uh, project is developing from a previous war where we, we established the epistemological and theoretical framework and the uh, different uh, exogenous and endogenous agents and factors that involve this complex system uh, as regards the environmental, archaeological, archaeomorphological issues, the, the vineyard cultivation, and so on. The intensive viticulture practice during the Roman period in the northeast Iberian Peninsula and concrete in the named Regio Laietana was a widespread phenomena with an important economic impact that supposed uh, a <laughs> very, a very wider revolution uh, for this territory in all areas and in all orders. This is the, the book who, uh, about the, the framework, the theoretical and the framework that uh, I published uh, recently. And we, we start with uh, general approaches and, and defining the territorial scale uh, because the regional variability is one of the main points for understanding the changes in the rural settlement patterns of any historic ancient period. Uh, the geospatial analysis can be made at different levels, in our case, uh, macrospatial uh, in the level of regio, mesospatial uh, in the level of territorium, and microspatial uh, in the level of the sediment, the tercularium, tercularia atquefligina. Uh, the level of dependence of rural uh, population for a given area to regional markets and the urma urban centers uh, and his expansion and uh, its expansion to the external markets, responding to a series of patterns of socioeconomic behaviors that could be analyzed economic and econometric by economics and econometrics models. The wide utilization of mathematics, statistics, and linear uh, programming uh, could make uh, us to make predictions, regressions, and reconstructions about the evolution of the ancient economic system. Uh, in relation about the we we speak uh, before uh, the calculation of crop yields, the consumption the consumption level, the productive surplus, uh, etc. There's the economic studies about wine making production and trade can also be analyzed on different levels, uh, also uh, as macroeconomics in the in the same scale, ratio, mesoeconomics in the same scale, uh, territorium, and microeconomics in the same scale about the settlement, uh, Turcularia and Aquatilginia. Uh, the interaction between the interregionals and the extra-regional economic networks uh, could be an important catalyst uh, for the insection, development, and the expansion of winemaking in our territorial area, in this case the Regio Laetania between the 1st century BC and the 3rd century AD. 
the territorial context uh, for make uh, uh, a view this is the ter the Laetanian territory about this yeah I, between the Rubicaton river the actual Llobregat and the uh, Arnhem river the actual Tordera uh, we you can see here the all the the um, the names and the main roads and the toponymic toponymic items in, in this area. This is the Colonia Barquino, the actual Barcelona. Uh, on a conceptual level, we distinguish three knowledge levels. The first uh, level is the study in deep, the writing sources, primaries and secondaries, and the ancient iconography too. Latin agronomies like Cato, Barro, Columella, Palladio, and Pliny the Elder. That describe issues related with the uh, agrarian techniques, the wine growing process and wine making process. Other auth authors like uh, Witt, Horatio, Juvenal inform us about symbolic aspects, uh, about the taste and preference in wine conception uh, in, in during the Roman period. The iconographic representations in different supports um, inform us about the fixtures and tools, some of perishable nature. is very important in these things. Uh, the second level uh, is the study of archaeological evidence and ethnographic parallels. I make a question in related with this issue. Uh, archaeological sites analysis and shares of parallels in other similar sites, nearest or distance with the same issues and chronologies is very interesting and important to do. Uh, modern and contemporary ethnographic parallel analysis it gives us uh, different examples about the technofusional solutions, susceptibility in all, uh, uh, interpretations, and about the estimations in different levels and issues. And finally, the experimental archaeology uh, by the rigorous reproduction of wine growing and wine making ancient production processors and trade processors, applying the ancient techniques and ancient technological resources to check or refute or work in hypotheses. There is uh, something. There is some some experiments in this in this kind, like the the Mas de Turels in in Beaucaire in south of France. Uh, types of studies uh, we uh, we are speaking about it. Uh, the environmental analysis uh, related with the landscape uh, transformation and its evolution over the the, the time. Uh, and with different data proxy, uh, inter alias, and the eventological, paleological, carpological, and theological analysis, and so on. Uh, the problem is that the paleoperimental analysis in our area of study is not a uh, is not wider data 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 construction, and is very difficult to apply it uh, to study. Geospatial analysis uh, for modeling the settlement patterns related with the landowners the fundus extension and the characterization of different typology of production centers workshops related with when making and pottery production no? uh, applying the BLA system big or little speciality farms and torcularia salabinaria figlina etc <coughs> archaeomorphological analysis for modeling agricultural, agricultural uses of territory related with geomorphological structures in, uh, this in the mean of the, um, the writing sources uh, specifies about the Ager Divisus et Signatus, Cadastro et Centuriato, Ager per Extremitate Mesura Comprehebuns, and Ager Artifinalis. Uh, types of soils, configuration of the wine zones, and different, different uh, cultivation techniques, and so on. Technofunctional uh, analysis about the both for the installations, building organization, and for the production structures, uh, <laughs> kinds, collecting and storage tanks, tools, and NLMware. And for the process of processors, technological innovation in machinery processes, ATC. Geoeconomic analysis uh, to calculate efficiency, profi profitability, and scales of productivity in absolute terms of maximum productive capacity both for the bank uh, the bank gas uh, crop simulation models by uh, crop simulation models and for the processing and storage installations in productivity fuels yields sorry demographic analysis to calculate the fluctuations of population over the time due to a good uh, economic performance uh, implies uh, overpopulation or economical and social crisis uh, it, it implies underpopulation due to multiple multiple factors migrations plagues diseases war and to analyze its role as workforce in the agrarian economic systems 
Mm, this is uh, a visually about the, the students making in, the, in, in an area research area about the different uh, the different paleoclimate and paleo landscape interpretation in data proxy with uh, different species of uh, detected about uh, pollen analysis uh, the paleoclimate uh, this this marks the uh, Roman optimum climaton here to take in care uh, about the geospatial studies, uh, the geography information systems, a byte, uh, the application of different models like T's and polygons and von Stunen's theory, about distribution of agrarian land uses. The archaeomorphological studies about the fields configuration in with the modulation patterns of uh, Agar Centuriati. Uh, we centered in the first scenario about the Agar Centuriati in the, in the colony of Barkino, is this in this case, and to take in care about the land units and the correspondence in uh, metrical decimal in Latin. Okay. About the wine growing issues, the wine, wine yard configurations, the tailing, the wine, the bean morphology and physiology and pl plantation systems is the factors to take in care, uh, to take in account uh, to make our predictions and our calculates. The wine configuration, driving, uh, the dr systems of driving and pruning systems in, in, uh, in Roman times. And uh, about the binds renovation, propagations, techniques, and grafting systems, <coughs> all is the framework that we speak uh, before. Um, about the one, one, one thing is interesting is about the different uh, varieties of uh, grapes to to taking to taking account. No? The the writing sources uh, name it uh, some 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 varieties, but we don't have the correspondence about one or, or the this these names with the actual uh, correspondence uh, varieties. It's difficult. There is some ways to make uh, this approximation. No? One way is uh, is making in experimental wine jars like uh, in Pompeia about. Uh, the traditional ampelography analysis in uh, Pompeii is possible because the it, it was uh, about in, in 1709, it was about the Vesuvius eruption. Um, Carbonized uh, plants uh, are made and we, he, they can identify the different types similarly to actual, to actual types. The other is the, uh, the um, geometrical and topological analysis, but it's very, very short because uh, it's only distinguished into uh, um, cultivate and not cultivate uh, seeds. Uh, the, other, the other organic residuals uh, that uh, informs us about the uh, winemaking techniques and uh, different systems to make the wines. <laughs> And this is the, the, the future. The future is about the, the ancient mines varieties characterization, about uh, the genetic uh, characterization and chlorotypes sequence in microsatellite markets. Uh, there is the two systems for making it. Uh, one is through the regulation about the analysis of the, 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 actual, the actual varieties and to take, and then uh, to analyze the archaeological uh, the, the, the archaeological samples and to try to interrelate one uh, between others. But we will have a shortcut. We have a shortcut because um, the variety, when we sp um, speak about the of all of the analogies, uh, all, of, all of they recommend to uh, plant uh, Roman Alexandrian or muscat or Roman muscat variety, because they uh, think that is a variety that not have an hybridage very hard, no, and is more proximal to uh, uh, an, an ancient variety or Roman variety. The technofunctional studies we make uh, uh, a study about the the Roman being presses, uh, about the vocabulary, the terminology is very important. 
the different its evolution and in different restitutions. This is a uh, 3D restitution about how how the study in 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 the park in archaeological and calaminary archaeological park, where we may, we reproduce the the um, the Roman princes in situ in in the in the archaeological park. And uh, we make the calculations about the productivity and the capacity of production of these uh, facilities. You can see different image about this. And geoeconomic studies. This is the part, uh, the more complicated part in the in our uh, study, because this is um, analysis of agrarian production of uh, knowledge cup models. Uh, it's from Agropedia. It's an Indian Indian uh, project. Very very interesting about the different issues and the different factors that, that interview in the calculation of a crop. You can see here the different the different. Mm, factors that you can to take uh, in account to make it no this is for a general a general um, crop a general crop and this is for the grape crop eh? is very 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 uh, complex and <coughs> we want to make to develop because our project our research projects are now in the inception and is beginning and we want to uh, explore these possibilities about the wine transfer and trade sky productivity, I don't take it in, in my research, but it's interesting to take in care because there are different trade scales, productivities, cost, uh, uh, and also the different uh, transfer uh, cost in different systems. Well, in distribution about the transport networks modeli modelization, it's possible about the cost distribution, uh, about the the correlation between average distance and market unit price of crop, uh, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, the geoeconomic studies basically in three categories of modelization: descriptive models, quantify the data interrelations for grouping and classify this in sets. Decision models, the variables involved in the process service to predict process outcomes, depending to, uh, about the decisions taken, basic agent-based models, and predictive models that analyze the past uh, situations and events to develop different scenarios and future situations. The geoeconomic studies we make a modelization process in um, for make a predictive, regressive, or reconstructive model uh, ideal, as ideal tool for calculate, analyze, and interpreting the balance between interregional consumption and extra-regional exportation in three gr in three groups in three groups. The, the potential production modelization about the soils and yields productive correlation, the yields sustainability, the quantify of disposable land. Archaeological, modern, and ethnographical pre-industrial data is very, in is very important for us. Uh, agrarian potential and yields calculation in, uh, in relationship with, with this issue. The regional consumption modelization about the uh, calculate the rural population versus the urban population calculation in, in our areas of study. The diary consumption calculation, the subsistence versus surplus produ production. Ex and, the, and the question is the exciting directional production, directional consumption. I, we think in our case, yes. And the market oriented modelization about the trade is not the, we don't take it, but it's interesting to take in, to take in account. The, pre the, the questions are, does exist primary and secondary markets? Rural, rural segments analysis about the localization, the size, the nature, the chronology. Productive yield yields calculation, observing the decreasing yields, low economical principles. Uh, and exceeds the probability that the determinate area produced for a determinate market is a interconnected or interdependence. We, we can determine the interdependence between two areas. The demographic studies, we can apply different models for explain the food resources and population growth and relationships. Uh, we can make uh, the, the model by, by the Mal Malthusian model, that is the uh, model of catastrophe. But there is uh, in front about the Bosserop uh, model 
that it made the adaptation of the population's uh, levels about the resources. It's interesting to take in, to take in account. Uh, exogenous factors, we explained about it, about the crisis population in, in all cases in Regio Laetania. Uh, Antonin Plaga, France Alemán invasion, Plaga of Free Cyprian, etc. <coughs> Well, our, our CAS study research concretely is the inventory and catalog all archaeological sites now in the area, the Laetanian area. Identify possible models of patterns that allow us to do a diachronic lecture of segment tenancy, agricultural <laughs> uses, etc. Characteristic a topology of paradigm segments of types studying its productive structure. Develop microeconomical studies of cost, benefit margins, etc. Calculate the population level and fluctuations over the time. Establish a possible geospatial and geoeconomical genetic models that allow us to develop predictive or regressive reconstructive models. This is the territorial to see the different types of sediments. Uh, in, the, in the left, we, we see the, the presence of um, sediments with way making predation or storage structures. And on the right, we have the includes the Fliginae uh, who have uh, wine pot to make for wine pottery containers and amphorae et dolia. This is uh, an Antarctica production typical bagulae of this area. Eh? It's an idealized image. Uh, three types of uh, establishment, uh, 1,000 and half and 2,000 meters squared uh, is the biggest one, uh, with uh, 100, 200 dollars of storage, and about four or six presses uh, facilities. Medium establishment, about 1,000, 1,200 mm, meters squared, and uh, there is uh, square meters, and there is uh, about one or two presses, and collecting lacus, and uh, 30 and 50 dollar. And a small establishment, about four, 400 and 500 meters squared, with a simple or two uh, um, presses, and five or 10 dollars. This is different uh, views of the typology that we can make here of different types of, of presses facilities. This is uh, important, the number 10 is the last one we discovered in Barcelona, in the plain of Barcelona, about the, the um, Pont del Trabay Villa. It's about six presses, and it's interesting for make the or calculations. Uh, we can see different uh, figlinae. This is uh, in Baetulo, near the Badalona, about uh, making uh, storage containers. The different types of uh, amphoras uh, in, in the area. The most important are the on the on the right. You can see the Dressel one, the Laetana one, the Pascual one, and the Dressel two four. Uh, our working hypothesis about four phases: uh, one the inception, one the grow. One, the raw orientation, the one, uh, four, the apogee, and uh, the five spines is the decline, is re in relationship with the presence of the amphorae. Uh, other types to take uh, in account of, of types, the demographic studies about the boom background, about the variant trips, who are their main segments in Catalonia area, who are there. Uh, uh, un, uh, una pop a population establishment about uh, 13 and a half inhabitants per kilometer quadrat and uh, 27,000 inhabitants in the third century BC. And the different uh, distribution of Roman cities on main roads in Catalonia area, in our area, this one, Barquino, Baetule, Luro, Aqua Calidae, and Blandai, four cities. The, it's very interesting to apply the different uh, population of persons in different uh, types of uh, of uh, segments and big vicus, big villa, little vicus to apply for make our calculations and the different range of cities in our case are in the five range because there are uh, small cities in our ISO study. This is an example by Etulo about uh, uh, 40, 40, uh, 14 hectares and maximum population about 6 million inhabitants. Iluro, uh, actual Mataro, about uh, 10 hectares. Um, Barkino, the colony of Barkino, about uh, 12 uh, hectares and 7 mil habitants. No? Four uh, scenarios we determined. Uh, we are now working about the first uh, scenario in Barcelona Hinterland, uh, that we can explain here. And we are, uh, we are finished now. Yeah. Uh, 
Um, the scenario one is based on a hinterland plain in Agar Barceloneses. We, we count with the study of a uh, survey of archaeology of the Ayuntamiento de Barcelona, what I'm making an, an application about the study of this, of this centuration. Uh, the paleotopographical studies are developed and we apply it. This is the basic paleotopography we can make or work. And this is the proposal of modulation of five centurati made far from palette that we take in care for calculate or yields and or uh, calculations. The different uh, segments in the plain of Barcelona. You can see it in the, in the application uh, we see before. The different data about the, the number 10, the four, six, the six, the six presses facilities had could to make the, the principal calculations about the production gels of uh, winemaking. And this is a view of different excavation about the Pont del Travail Digna, the Villa, Villa Roman Villa in La Sagrera. Uh, a reconstruction about the first phase of this facility and this one for the second phase to make the expression. Well, yeah, we are finished and there is no conclusion because this is a, a work that is doing now. And we make uh, s uh, different, mm, different questions uh, for the debate. Uh, change in roller and Roman settlement patterns reflected the change in agrarian exploitation systems. It's possible to reconstruct viticulture productive units as types or its production capacity in actual terms. It's possible to reconstruct the rural omnery interest strategies and behaviors in categories related with an economical activity organization or with a concrete property exploitation. <laughs> How can influence in other interests or subjects and factors inside the economy activity as the derivate for rental, contracts, taxes, commissions, commercial margins, etc. We can determine the scope of wine economy and its specific weight, suppose, respect other economy activities developed in the region during the Roman period. We can determine a direct relationship between the wine economic performance and the increasing of social position of some intervenants, like Viliki, Conductores, Negotiatores, etc. The balance between interregional and extra-regional wine exportation consumption is a, in a given and is a good way to explore these issues. We can determine the estimate population for a territory and its evolution over the time to make the parameters we speak before. Uh, what is the scope of demographic fluctuation in the evolution of wine production phenomena in the Italian region? Was the Antonin plaque a key factor for the collapse of this wine economic system? It's possible to establish a general model of a study that shall allow us for a further economical research in wine production and traditions. It is cool to develop this model. It is cool possible applying in other territories. We hope so. Thank you for your attention.